I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this spiked granny stitch slouch hat, which is the one you see here uh, in the picture in front of you. I also have my sample here. I'll try and zoom out here a little bit for you so you can see it a little bit better. So this is the hat here. It is a slouch hat and it features this granny spiked stitch, which is one of my favorite of the granny spike stitches. The color that is shown here is called Skyline and it is the Lion Brand Landscapes yarn. You're going to need approximately 200 yards of this yarn so it's about uh, one and a third of a ball of yarn. So uh, about 200 yards of the Landscapes yarn. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for finishing off. The free written crochet pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I'll provide the direct link for you here in the notes for this video. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe to the, my channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So I'm just going to grab my hook and some yarn and we'll get started. In my video today, the color of yarn that I'm going to be using is called Meadow and it is that Lion Brand Landscapes yarn. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making the brim of our hat and the brim of our hat is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and you're going to begin making a foundation chain of eight stitches sorry, nine stitches. So there's your nine stitches. Now for my hats, I prefer to make a slip stitch brim because uh, I find it nice and snug. It has a good uh, stretch and keeps its shape well. If you would rather for this hat, you can either use single crochet stitches or half double crochet stitches. You don't have to use the slip stitch. So for my brim, you have uh, started with your foundation chain of nine. You're then going to count in one, two, and in that second chain from hook, you're going to work a slip stitch. And then in each stitch all the way across. Again, if you would rather, you could use single crochet or half double crochet stitches for your brim. You'll still start with the same number for a foundation chain. So slip stitch, in each all the way across you're going to have eight stitches at the end of that first row you're going to chain one and turn your work just need to unravel some more yarn here there we go you're now going to uh, to make the ribbing you're going to work in the back loop only and for the rest of this brim, you're going to always work in the back loop only. To find your back loop, you're going to take a look at the tops of your stitches and you'll see this V. The stitch, the horizontal bar that is furthest away from you, that is your back loop. So this is my chain stitch. I want to work in that first slip stitch. So finding my back loop only, insert your hook under that bar only and slip stitch into that stitch and then into each all the way across. At the end of that row, chain one, turn your work and you're now going to repeat. So slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. You're going to continue to repeat that until your brim measures approximately 19 inches. Now it has a, a quite a bit of stretch if you are doing a, a single crochet or half double crochet brim and find it either too snug or too loose. You can shorten or lengthen that brim if you would like but uh, for mine, I found 19 inches worked quite well. So continue to repeat that for 19 inches. Meet me back here 
and we will join and begin working the body of the hat. So you will now have worked your brim. You will have approximately 19 inches and you will see that it has quite a bit of stretch, which is nice. And we'll pull back quite nicely. And now what we're going to do is we're going to join our two ends of our brim together. So you're going to take it and you're going to fold your brim over. I did not fasten off. I'm simply going to chain one. And then working into the back loop only of each side, I slip stitched across. So there's the back loop only on this one, back loop only on my second side, and I slip stitched all the way across. This is going to be your eight slip stitches once again. Remember to always work through those uh, both thicknesses. And this is just going to seam it together for us. You can either weave that in or work over top of it as we go. You're then going to turn your brim right side out and now your brim is complete. We're going to now continue working the hat body and the body of the hat is worked in rounds. Uh, for this pattern though, it is worked in rounds but you will join and turn at the end of each round. The first thing you're going to do for round one is you're going to chain one and you're then going to work 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around. Now there are no clear places to put your stitches so you're just trying to find a comfortable spot for your hook and you're going to work 84 half double crochet stitches uh, evenly around. I find that if you're having trouble getting the stitches to fall evenly around your hat, then to place a stitch marker about halfway around and then you know to work 42 stitches on one side and 42 stitches on the other side of that stitch marker. But you want to have a total of 84. Once you come back around to the beginning, you can uh, join with a slip stitch in the top of that first half double crochet stitch. Once you have worked 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that half double crochet. And after this first round, you do not need to turn your work. For round two, you're going to chain three and you're then going to work two double crochet stitches into the same stitch as joining. So you'll have a set of three double crochet stitches. That chain three at the beginning here and throughout always counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and into that fourth, that next one, work three double crochet stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip three into the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches. Skip three, work three double crochet stitches. You're going to continue that all the way around and uh, when you come to your final set, You'll work your three double crochet stitches and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 21 sets of three double crochet stitches. This is my final set of three double crochet stitches. I skip the next three stitches and then into the top of my starting chain three, I join with a slip stitch. 
you're now going to turn your work and chain three. After you have chained three, you're going to start uh, rounds three through to 12. So for the next nine rounds, uh, you are going to repeat this one. Now, after you've chained three, you're going to double crochet into the top of the next stitch two rows below. So this is going to act as a double crochet stitch. And then if you look down below, you have uh, a middle half double crochet down here. That's the one you're going to work in. You're always going to work into the middle half double crochet of that set or half double crochet or eventually double crochet stitch. But you're always going to work into the middle stitch of that set of three down below. This is going to be our spike stitch. We're going to work a double crochet stitch. So this is my first double crochet in this set. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to skip the row below and into that middle half double crochet two rows below. Insert my hook, yarn over, and drop a loop. I'm going to drop my loop to about the height of a double crochet stitch. I'm then going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two, completing the double crochet. I'm then going to work a double crochet stitch into that space uh, between the two sets of double crochets down below. So I've worked one, two rows below, and now I'm going to work back up into that space, and I'm going to work a double crochet stitch. So now I have my chain three, which is double crochet, my spike stitch going all the way down into the half double, and then my next double crochet stitch that has worked into the space in between uh, that spike stitch and the next double crochet. I'm then going to skip the next three stitches and I'm going to work another set over in this next space. So one double crochet stitch, a spiked double crochet in the center stitch two rows below, and then one more double crochet into that same space, or into the space between, sorry, the spike stitch and the double crochet. So just like you'd work a classic granny stitch of those three double crochet in the spaces, you're always working in those spaces, it's just the one middle one is your spike stitch. Skip the next three double crochet stitches into the next space, work one double crochet, a spiked stitch down into the center half double crochet, and one more double crochet into that space. You're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come back to your first starting chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch, chain three, turn your work, and then repeat that round all over again. You're going to do that for a total of nine rounds and then join uh, at the top. So this is rounds three through to 12. At the end of round 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. And then you're going to chain one and turn your work. At this point in time, we're now going to start working the decreases in our hat. This is what you have so far, you have your brim, and then your rows of spiked granny stitches. So we're now going to start working our decreases. Our decreases are worked using half double crochet stitches. So you're going to begin with round 13 and you're simply going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way around starting with that stitch where you joined. So in the top of each double crochet stitch, 
work one half double crochet all the way around when you come back to the beginning you're going to join with a slip stitch in that top stitch and uh, at this point you do not need to turn your work at the end of round 13 you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first half double crochet stitch and chain one. Do not turn your work. For round 14, it's the first of our decrease rounds. We're going to half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So starting with our first stitch, half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to half double crochet two stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. With five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops. That's your half double crochet two together. You're then going to repeat half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, and six and then half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 14, you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch and you will have a total of 56 stitches. For round 15, you're going to chain one. You're going to half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. and then half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. and then half double crochet two together. Repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch. At the end of round 15, you'll join your yarn in the top of the stitch with a slip stitch and you'll have a total of 48 stitches. For round 16, you're going to chain one you're going to half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. and half double crochet two together. At the end of round 16, you'll join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch, and you will have a total of 40 stitches. You're then going to, for round 17, chain one, half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and then half double crochet two together. 
You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, and half double crochet two together. Repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At the end of seven, round 17, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one, and you'll have a total of 32 stitches. For round 18, you're going to half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, and half double crochet two together. Continue all the way around and join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At the end of round 18, you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch chain one and you'll have a total of 24 stitches. For round 19 you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two together. Continue all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you will have a total of 16 stitches. At the end of round 19 you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and chain one. For your final round for round 20 you're simply going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to join in that first stitch, leaving a long, uh, and fasten off, leaving a long tail. You're going to use that tail to sew the top of your hat closed. almost all the way back around here. And there we are. I'm going to join with a slip stitch. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a long tail and fasten off. So this is now what your hat looks like. I'll zoom out a little bit there. You have your brim, your spiked granny stitches, and then your decrease there at the top. And you'll have a little bit of an opening. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your hat inside out and you're going to take your yarn needle and using that long tail just thread it through your needle and we're now going to close the top. To close the top of my hat I simply took my yarn and I wove it in and out through the top stitches just like so. I'm going to do that all the way around. There should be 16 stitches there up at the top. And once you're back at the beginning, I simply pulled the top closed like so. Did a quick little knot just on the inside there just to fasten it and make the closure a little bit tighter. And 
and then weave in your ends. Weave in any other straight ends that you may have lying through there. There's probably one near the top of your hat and then one down near your brim. Make sure they're well woven in. Turn your hat again right side out and your spiked granny stitch slouch hat, slouch hat is now complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this crochet uh, pattern tutorial on how to make the spiked granny stitch slouch hat. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that you uh, can find here. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.